to not keep anybody waiting. It's faster than everybody else. I don't know what happened to him. Guess we're here to find out. There he is, Mr. Punctual. Hey, guys. How are you? Very well. How are you today? Doing great. Mr. Ellsworth, thank you for your time. Hey, Tom, I got nothing else, man. By the way, call me Lefty. All right, Lefty. In 1989, Arthur Curry Ellsworth was at the top of the competitive swimming world. Known to his friends and teammates as Lefty, A.C. Ellsworth was already a two-time champion at the collegiate level and a three-time Olympic champion by the age of just 20. The world was his oyster. That is, until his very public fall from grace dominated the international media for the better part of a year. When it was over, Lefty Ellsworth abruptly retired, giving up his career and life in the limelight in the process. He's been removed from the public eye ever since. All right, let's do this. Yeah, here we are, home sweet home. Like to um, start? Let's go. What are you into these days? Well, I keep myself busy. I, I, I'm obviously staying in shape. Uh, I'm doing improv at the comedy club down the street. Gotcha. So, let's start with your early success. Okay. You, a Rhodes Scholar had perfect scores on your ACT. You tied with Nelson Mandela for Time Magazine's Person of the Year. You were voted Field and Streams Man of the Year, uncontested. You were also best man at Jacques Cousteau's wedding. Tell me about that. Well, we met in school. Um, to be honest, I, I knew his wife first, if you know what I mean. So what makes you unique? Well, there's uh, my artistic ability, and I have a great singing voice. Uh, sure. I don't know, ask me again later on. I'd like to, to delve a little bit into the darker parts of your past. You were suspended by the IOC for the first time in 1990 for what they termed an illegal performance enhancement. I assume it was the... It was drugs. And it was bullshit, man. I, I had a cold. That's what something to make me feel like. Oh, so you mean something like Sudafed? It was heroin. Right. I see. Okay, you were reinstated in 91 before being suspended again by the end of the year. Why the second suspension? Well, I allegedly punched an infant. At a swim meet, never. And by that you mean you didn't punch the well, child? In my defense, I thought she was much older and she had a coming. So you missed an entire season after that. Now, hang on, will you hand me one of those? Thank you. So you missed an entire season after that incident. You came back in 92, swam in Portland with a blood alcohol level at four times the legal limit. And then he passed out in the pool at one point. Well, I, I really think that making a, the media made a bigger deal of that than it was. Right. You were legally dead for six minutes. The doctor poolside pronounced you. If he was a real doctor, would he be working at a pool during a, on a weekday? I mean, come on, man. And it was at that point you were given a 10-year ban, which effectively ended your career. In the meantime, you've certainly helped sell a lot of papers for the gossip rags. I mean, I'd like you to confirm or deny the following. You punched a baby. Allegedly. You punched a nun. A cop. A mine. A giraffe. Well, those were all in self-defense. You stole a car. A chopper. A cruise ship. Those were those big red boats. You stole an election. Now that was in North Korea. Everybody steals elections. You married a meter maid. And a chambermaid. But never a mermaid. What can I say? I'm a legs man. You were sued by Costco. Well, uh, 
That was dismissed. That's fine. That was dismissed too. That's smart. That one's still pending. Starbucks? Countersuit. Trademark infringement. The badigen. Uh, that one I lost. Yeah. You were incarcerated for public indecency. Public intoxication. And public urination. Ironically, that was all out of public. I spent the better part of the day with this one-time champion, reliving his dizzying heights in the sport he once dominated, and the terrifying lows that nearly cost him everything. My final question, the one that brought me here in the first place, ultimately touched a nerve, still too raw even after all these years. What? What happened to you, man? What do you mean? Was it the fame? Was it just so intoxicating? God, just, what happened? I told you, I don't want to talk about that part of my life. But, was it what everyone said about you? That you only won, you could only hack it because you've got the tail. Nobody else does. I, 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 I told you not talking about that. This interview's over. I That's it. Get out. No. Get out. It's over. I can't believe you said No. Get out. Out of, out of the hot tub. Just show yourself out. In the end, I was left to consider a number of possibilities. Was it the pressure? Was his fame too much? Too soon? Was it the fear of failure? Or did success simply come too easily? How was I to know?